Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So if you are also looking for streamlining the process of your lead management, then this video is for you. Because today we are going to learn how to automate lead management with Pabli Connect within few minutes. So let's suppose I am using Facebook lead ads to generate the leads and to promote my business. Now as the lead is generated, I want to record the lead details in Google Sheets. I want to add the lead in Soho CRM and also I want to inform my team members regarding the leads details on Slack channel. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up the connection between all these applications and that we are going to do without any coding and programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automate lead management with the help of Pabli Connect. So let's suppose I am running a real estate agency and to promote my business, I am using Facebook lead ads. So basically, I am running an ad campaign on my Facebook page to generate the leads. Now here as the lead is generated, I want to streamline the process of the lead management further by creating a record of the lead details such as the name of the lead, email address, their phone number and what is the type of property in which the lead is interested for buying or renting. Okay. Okay. Then after creating this record further to nurture these leads, I want to add the lead in my CRM. So here I'm using Zoho CRM for that. Then finally, I want to inform about the lead details to my team members as well. And I'm running my marketing community on Slack. So I want to send the details of the lead as a message on Slack as well. So this is a long process and I'm not going to do it manually. I will simply automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect. So over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a connection between Facebook lead ads, Google Sheets, Zoho CRM and Slack. I am just taking the examples of the applications such as Google Sheets, Zoho CRM and Slack. But you can take other applications as well. For example, in place of Facebook lead ads, you can also use Google ads, Instagram lead ads, LinkedIn leads and etc. for generating your leads. After capturing the lead details from your application, you can create a record of your leads. In place of Google Sheets, you can also take Microsoft Excel over here, Airtable or Notion database. Further for adding the leads in your CRM, Whichever CRM you are using, you, you can use that application over here. And after that, here I'm just taking the example of Slack, but you can use Discord, Telegram, or on whichever platform you are running your community. Now, whichever work applications you are using, you can simply set up the connection between these applications to streamline the process of your lead management effectively with the help of this amazing automation software, which I'm going to show you, that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation software, which is going to help us to set up connections between our work applications. We do not require any kind of coding and programming skills for that. We can simply set up the connection and automate our repetitive task. Here, with the help of Pabli Connect, today we are going to learn how to automate the process of lead management. Let's get started quickly. We are currently on the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, you will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. It is going to create a free new account for you just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you will be receiving 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. So as an existing user currently, I'm going to click on sign in. Here, this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now quickly. And it is going to take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on our dashboard, we will find all our workflows which we have created. And to save the workflows, we can also create separate folders on the same dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we are going to click on this create workflow option. A dialog box is appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Automate lead management with Pabli Connect. After giving the name to my workflow, I'm going to select the folder. So here I have created a separate folder for all the automations which I'm going to create to streamline the process of my lead management. So I'm going to select that folder over here and we'll click on create. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us. So the screen contains a blank workflow with two extremely important windows. First is the trigger over here and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. 
because the trigger is the commander and the actions are the followers. Now let's suppose here I am taking the example of Facebook lead ads to generate the lead. So let's say I'm going to take Facebook lead ads in trigger and because I want to create a record of all the leads which are generated for my real estate agency. So I'm going to use Google Sheets for that. So here I'm going to take Google Sheets in action. When we are going to set up the connection between these applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the lead is received through Facebook lead ads, then only the details of that lead will be recorded in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us quickly start creating this automation over here. Now, before moving forward here, I have to tell you that I am just taking the example of the applications as I told you. So here I'm just taking the example of Facebook lead ads. But for your business, whichever application you are using to promote your business to generate the leads, you can take that application over here in this case. Okay. Now here, because I'm taking Facebook lead ads, so my trigger application will be Facebook lead ads over here because I want that whenever a lead will be received, from Facebook lead ads for my real estate agency, then the workflow should get triggered. Okay, then here we have to, because the first process of this lead management will be to capture the leads only. Now we'll move forward and here our trigger event will be new lead instant. Okay, because my objective is that whenever a lead will be received, instantly the response should be captured. Now we'll click on connect. And as we have done that, you can see that we have to build the connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect. So for this, you can see I'm already logged into my Facebook page. This is my Facebook page. First of all, I'm going to click on switch to act as the page only and after doing this and after doing this we'll move back and we'll click on add new connection okay in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that now to build the new connection here we have the option of connect with facebook lead ads you have to keep in mind that you are already logged into your account okay we'll click on continue as the as fabric connect has detected the account okay and as you have done that you can see that the authorization has become successful and the connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect is built successfully. Now, after doing this, we have to move forward towards selecting the page and the lead gen form. To understand this here, I'm going to take you towards my Facebook page. This is the name of my page, as you can see. This is the name of my page. You can see Prime Properties. Prime Properties is the name of my real estate agency. And to promote my business, I'm running this page and also I'm running an ad campaign over here. For generating the leads with that ad campaign, I've also attached a Facebook lead gen form. So I've created this lead gen form with the help of Facebook lead ads. Now my objective is that whenever a lead is going to visit my page, they are going to watch my ad campaign. And when the interested leads for buying or renting the properties will be submitting that form, then the response should be captured. So over here, first of all, we'll select the page. So the name of my page is Prime Properties, as you can see. And now here I'm going to select the lead gen form as well by using which form you want to generate the lead. So here I have selected my form. Then we are going to click on the simple response button on and we'll simply click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, you can see we have received a test response because the connection is built and now here it is showing waiting for webhook response. What we have to do, we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured. How we are going to do this test submission? For that, I'm going to use Meta for Developers. So this is lead ads testing tool of Meta for Developers. With the help of this amazing tool, I'm going to test my connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect. So over here, we have selected the page and the lead gen form. Now I'm going to preview the form and I'm going to submit it. If you are using an existing form, you have to delete the existing lead from that. So you will first click on this delete button and then you will refresh this page once once again you will select your page and the form and then you will submit the form so here i'm going to preview the form and submit it quickly so that the response could be sent and as i have submitted the form you can see that the response is captured so in this response we have received the details of the lead here we have first of all the type of property in which the lead is interested here we have the residential property here we have the name email address phone number and other details of the lead so this means that our connection between facebook lead ads and public connect is absolutely successful now whenever a lead will be generated through facebook lead ads the response of that lead will be captured inside public connect this is just a test response which i have received so here we have the dummy details okay now here my objective is to create a systematic record of all the details of this lead such as the name email address phone number and the type of property which is very important okay so here i am maintaining a spreadsheet for that with the name as new lead details so i'm going to set up the connection between the google sheets and public connect let's click on this add action step button over here, our action application will be Google Sheets. So let's select that. Then we have to select the action event. So our action event will be add new row. Let's click on connect to build this connection. This is my Google Sheets. I'm already logged into that. So I'm going to go with add new connection. We'll click on sign in with Google to build the connection. And over here, I'm going to select my account. 
Now public link is asking us for the permission to access our Google account. Let's click on allow as the data is 100% safe with public connect. The authorization has become successful and the connection between Google Sheets and public connect is built successfully. Here once again I will repeat that I'm just taking the example of Google Sheets to create a record over here as database but you can take any other spreadsheet or database according to your choice. Okay here we have to select the spreadsheet name. So the name of my spreadsheet is new leads detail. I'm going to select it. After doing this here, we have to move forward for selecting the sheet name which is already selected here. Then we have name, email, phone number and the type of property. All these fields are the same as we have the columns in our spreadsheet. Name, email, phone number and the type of property. One by one we will enter the details which we have received from our earlier response. So because the data is already captured, what we will do instead of entering the details manually, we will simply map the data over here. This is my previous response. Here we have all the details of the lead. So first of all, we have to enter the name. Here we have first name and the last name. First of all, let's select the first name with a space we will map the last name when we have mapped the data like this from our previous step it has become dynamic and with each and every new response automatically it is going to replace now so whenever a new lead will be received through facebook lead ads automatically all the details which we are going to map in these fields will get replaced with the new details of that new lead and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of lead management Let's move forward. The next we have the email so let's map the email address over here then we will map the phone number as well then we have to map the type of property. So we have mapped all the details and now when we are going to click on save instant test request button, the response is received. This means that the data is successfully added and recorded in Google Sheets. So I'm going to take you towards Google Sheets now. And over here you can see that the details are systematically added. Here we have name in the name column, email in the email column, then we have the phone number and the type of property. In this way we are going to systematically create a record of all the leads. So the workflow is successful up till now. The next objective is after creating a record of all these leads, I want to add this lead in my Zoho CRM as well to nurture the leads further. Okay, so here I'm going to set up the connection between Zoho CRM and Pabli Connect. For that, let's click on this add action step button. Our action application this time will be Zoho CRM. Here I'm taking the example of Zoho CRM, but you can use any other CRM application which you're using for your business. After selecting this application over here, I'm going to select the action event now. So here my action event will be to insert or update record. Then we are going to set up the connection by clicking on connect. You can see I'm already logged into my Zoho CRM account. So here I'm going to go with add new connection and I will click on connect with Zoho CRM. As we have done that, it is asking us a domain name. So what is the domain? How are you going to get it? You have to just go towards your Zoho CRM account. For this, you will look towards the URL. And in the URL here, we have the domain zoho.com. Let's copy it and we'll move back to paste it over here. In the similar manner, in very easy steps, you have to find out your domain by looking towards the URL of your Zoho CRM account and you have to paste it over here to build this connection. Let's click on save. And over here now, Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Zoho CRM account. Let's click on accept because our data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Now, as we have done that, the authorization has become successful and the connection between Zoho CRM and Pabli Connect is built successfully. So now with the help of mapping funds again, we are going to create a record over here as well. So first of all, it is asking us the module name. So in the module name here, my module will be leads because I'm going to create lead in Zoho CRM. Okay. Now here, as we have selected the module as leads, we have some details which we have to enter. So it is asking us a layout which is already selected as standard. Then we have pipeline name, duplicate check fields, etc. These fields are not mandatory. So if you want, you can enter them or else you can just ignore these fields for now. I will directly move towards the first name. Here I'm going to map the first name. Then we, have, then we will map the last name over here. Mapping is very important because it is going to automate the entire process. If you will enter the data manually over here by typing or by copy and pasting, the data will become static and it is not going to replace. Then the automation will not work and the workflow will get stuck. Okay. Then here we have to enter the designation. If you want to enter, you can enter it or else you can ignore this field as well. I'm going to map the email next because I have received email. Then we have phone number, fax, mobile. I'm going to map the mobile number which I have received. All right, then here, if you want to enter the lead source, you can enter it over here according to your choice that from where you have received this lead. Employer, referral, trade, show, seminar, partner, online store, partner, web download, etc. I am going to ignore this field currently. Then here we have number of employees, annual revenue, rating, etc. I am going to ignore all these details. I will directly move towards the city as I have received the city of the lead. So here I am going to map it. Then because I have also received the street, so let's map the street as well. State of the lead. Okay, here we have received the zip code and the country. Let's check whether we have received the country or no. No, currently we have not received the country. So we are going to ignore this field. I will simply click on save and send test request button. 
and you can see that the response is received so in this response we have received all the details this means that the lead is successfully added in our zoho crm account so i'm going to take you towards my zoho crm account we'll we are currently on the lead section only and you can see a new lead is systematically added over here recently the name of the lead is dummy lead when i'm going to open this lead you can see we have received all the details here we have the address state and etc so this means that the connection is absolutely successful now whenever once we have set up this connection successfully now whenever a lead will be received through facebook lead ads automatically a record will be created inside google sheets with the details of that lead and automatically the lead will be added in zoho crm now further i also want to update my marketing team related to the lead which is received for real estate agency so that the team could further communicate with the leads and try to convert the leads into payable customers for that we are having our marketing team community on slack so i will have to set up the connection between slack and pably connect so that i can send a channel message over here whenever a lead is received so we'll click on this add action step button our action application will be slack let's select that then we have to select the action event and that will be send channel message let's click on connect here to build this connection i'm going to go with add new connection we have to click on connect with slack here we have to enter the token type I enter the token type as either user or bot. Check the documentation to find out how to get it. So here, in order to get how you have to enter the token type, either user or bot, you will click on this hyperlink "Learn More," which is going to take you towards Pably forum page. After coming over here, when you will scroll down, you will find the instructions that how you have to use user and bot as your token type. So it is given that if you want to perform following functions, such as add star, remove star, invite a user to a channel, send private message with or without image, add reminder, etc., then you have to use user as your token type. But if you are performing following functions, such as sending channel messages with or without image, sending direct messages, get user by ID, list all channels, etc., then you have to use bot as your token type because. my objective is to send a channel message for to my team members so my token type over here will be bot and we are going to click on save i hope you have understood this now here pably connect is asking us for the permission to access our slack account so our data is 100% safe with pably as i told you so we are going to click on allow fearlessly as we are in that the authorization has become successful and the connection between slack and pably connect is built so now here it is asking us to select the channel name the name of my channel is marketing team so i'm going to select the same over here marketing team okay then you have to enter the message content the message which you want to send i want to inform my team members my marketing team that a new lead is received from facebook lead ads and i want to update the team with the details of that lead so here the message will be Hello team check out the details of our new lead here i am going to enter the name email phone number and the type of property in which the lead is interested follow up the lead as soon as possible then here simply i am i will map the details of the lead one by one first name last name here i will map the email the phone number and the type of property so as we have done that the message is completed then here we have to enter the image url image alt text if if you want to attach any image along with the message you have to enter the url of that okay but i'm going to ignore this field now basically we are creating a bot we are setting up a bot to send automated messages on our slack channel whenever a lead is received so here we have to provide a bot name so the bot name will be appear whenever the message will be received on our channel because i'm sending lead alerts to my team so i'm going to give the bot name as new lead alert then here we have to enter the bot icon if you want to provide any icon to your bot you can enter the image url for that and rest all details are done so i'm going to click on save and send test request button as you've done that the response is received and here the bot message is sent i am going to take you towards my slack channel and over here you can see that yes the message is sent here we have hello team check out the details of a new lead here we have the details and the type of property this means that the connection is absolutely successful so you can see in this way we have systematically created our workflow without any coding and programming skills so what we have done we have taken facebook lead ads and trigger google sheets so hosi rm and slack in our action step to manage the lead details okay so here as we are receiving the new leads from facebook lead ads automatically the record will be created in google sheets after creating the record the lead will be added in zoho crm and also a message will be sent for the lead details to our team members so that the team could be updated and here in this way we are going to automate the entire process of lead management so i hope this amazing automation is clear to you and it is helpful for you in the similar manner you can create the amazing automations for lead management with the help of pably connect by using your work applications i hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching
Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.